there, I'm Kristen Brown, and this is my energy take for a meeting and event planners. Now, as a meeting planner, you are in crazy town a lot of the time, right? You're dealing with vendors, caterers, venues, speakers, ugh, me, and all of the things that have to go into creating an audience experience that's powerful, meaningful, and memorable. But oftentimes, in that stressful go, go, go environment, forget to turn around and focus some of that planning on yourself. So I want you now to take a moment and really think about how your energy is always going out. Now, I always say energy is emotion and action. So energy isn't just that, blah, you know, that, oh, I'm so high energy or I have the energy to take on stuff. Energy is any emotion that you feel in action. So you can have sad energy, you can have stress energy, you can have overwhelmed energy, you can have excited energy. Any emotion you can feel is a type of energy. And as a meeting planner, because you're go, 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 out, out, out all the time, oftentimes you're not getting enough energy back in to get filled back up. Plus the stress response of planning a meeting, even if you love it, it's still go, 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 go. It's still check, 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 check lots of things on your to-do list, it still creates those micro stressors that can put your body into the stressed out state, the fight or flight response, that can shut down decision making and critical decision making, that can create illness and sickness and shut down the immune system, that can cause headaches, digestive issues, all kinds of things like that. So as a meeting pl an event planner, you need to flip that outgoing energy and bring energy back in. And we're gonna, there's hundreds of ways that we can do this. I have hundreds of energy hacks for you. But one that I wanna give you that's really powerful is, it's gonna seem really simple, but is to actually stop what you're doing, because you're always going, 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 right? Stop what you're doing for one minute. Put your hand on your heart, take a breath. Right now you feel anxious, don't you? You want me to keep talking, you wanna go, go, go. What's next, what's she gonna say next? I gotta get, get on to my next thing. Nope, you're just stopping and you're just putting your hand on your heart and you're just feeling your own body in action. Now you wanna turn on your passion energy center, your creativity energy center. There are multiple energy centers in your body. One of them is your creativity, your passion energy center. It lives right down here, right above your pubic bone below your belly button right down there you want to turn that on by creating what i call your love it list it's the list of things that you love to do that put you in a good mood that put you in that zone put you in the flow state it can be things you love to do at work it can be things you love to do personally solo with other people but i want you to try this little exercise i want you to write down 10 things that you love to do most at work and 10 things you love to do most personally. It can be anything. It can be things that take a minute. It can be things that take days to do. If I like to go to yoga retreats, so that takes multiple days. I also love to sit on my front patio with a glass of wine looking at my little patio garden. That makes me happy too. At work, I love filming videos just like this, which takes a little longer because of the setup and the editing. But I also love being on stage, which is a quick hit of positivity, right? So you need to you need to take your lists, your 10 things you love at work, your 10 things that you love to do personally, and every single day, make sure you're picking one thing from each of those lists because that'll flood your body with feel-good chemicals. The endorphins, the serotonin, the dopamine, they will cut through that stress response to ensure you're thinking more critically so that when you're making decisions about vendors, about AV, about all of the things that have to go into creating an awesome event, you're thinking super, super clearly about it, and you're thinking about the audience and what you're going to can do to create that awesome, memorable audience experience. So if you want more of these energy hacks, if you want to create a specific program for maybe you're part of a, an event meeting planner association or organization, if you have a client that you want to bring me in for, let's chat because I have all kinds of energy hacks for multiple industries, multiple roles, and lots of them for meeting planners. So reach out and we will ensure that you are showing up as your most awesome meeting planner. Oh.